Cool. All people that love the truth got to be happy if the truth coming out and lies is getting exposed. Mm -hmm. T.G. Jakes, any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. There have been several claims and videos circulating online suggesting that Sarita Jakes, the wife of Bishop T. Jakes, explained in an interview how she caught her husband having sex with a Christian member of their church. These claims have sparked significant attention and discussions about infidelity within the religious community. In an interview with Oprah Winfrey, Sarita Jakes disclosed that she had caught T.D. Jakes disclosed that she had caught T.D. Jakes in a sexual relationship with a church member. Rumors about Bishop T. Jakes' infidelity have been circulating online, particularly involving allegations of inappropriate relationships and participation in events hosted by Scene Diddy Comms. These rumors have been widely shared on platforms like TikTok and various YouTube channels, often without credible evidence to support them. Bishop T. Jakes has strongly denied these allegations. In his Christmas sermon, Jakes addressed the rumor, stating he would not dignify them with a response from the pulpit, emphasizing instead his commitment to preaching the truth. He described the allegations as unequivocally false and baseless, and expressed disappointment over the spread of such false information. I ain't come to convince you or nobody, because I know who I am. I didn't, that, that, that ain't what this is about. You can think whatever you want to think, I don't care. I came to do my job. I came to prophesy as I was commanded. I came to hear the master say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. There was information from church members that T. Jakes was seen in a compromising position with a female church member. Initially, Sarisha dismissed these rumors as baseless information, but as they continued to exist, she realized she needed to exist. She realized she needed to face the situation directly. Sarita revealed that she initially suspected her husband of cheating when she noticed suspicious and inconsistent behavior. When she believed the woman's hunch, she decided to investigate further. To clarify the situation one evening, after the church service ended, Sarita Jakes felt a mixture of fear and determination in her as she made her way to D. Jakes' office. She knows that discovering the truth could cause the happy marriage of many years to fall apart. She walked and prayed for strength and guidance. Her heart was pounding as she stood in front of T. Jakes' office. Taking a deep breath, regaining composure, and stepping inside, she searched for the truth she feared. D. Jakes stayed with a nun in the congregation. Their familiar voices and body actions spoke volumes, revealing a closeness that should have been reserved for Sarita alone. Even though their relationship was over 40 years old, Sarita still chose to confront D. Jakes about what she had witnessed. Finally, he admitted to the affair. Recently, T. Jakes and Sarita announced their divorce. News of their divorce shocked the community, deeply affecting their followers and congregation. Both D. Jakes and Sarita are currently focusing on their individual paths toward healing and personal growth, while remaining committed to their respective faiths and missions in different capacities. Um, I mean, listen, Thomas buys Sarita's clothes. He's always bought her clothes. And so you got to understand the kind of state Sarita was in when she met Thomas. What would she have done if she left him? She didn't have nothing. She had nothing. She came from nothing. She was a, a coal miner's daughter. When I say she came from nothing, I don't mean she as a person is invaluable. What I'm saying is she didn't come from prestige or money or anything like that. She was a poor girl who had come from upside a mountain in West Virginia. <clears throat> and it was because of him that, you know, she is and has all that she does. So I don't know. I'm not trying to get into her mind and understand why she stayed, why she was OK with him having these extramarital relationships. I don't know. All I know is she she I'm not even sure if she would have ever had anything had it not been for him. In the interview, Sarita said her faith became her guiding light through the pain of being betrayed by her husband. She explained that she forgave Bishop Jakes, not because she still had much love for him, but to find peace in her remaining years. Sarita shares forgiveness as a powerful tool for healing relationships and overcoming betrayal. 
She also shared that throughout their relationship, they faced countless challenges, including severe injuries from a car accident early in their marriage. During this difficult period, T. Jake steadfastly supported Sarita, helping her recover and teaching her to walk again, which significantly strengthened their relationship. Despite the challenges they faced, Sarita and T.D. Jakes managed to resolve their issues and rebuild their marriage. Sarita Jakes has spoken out about the power of forgiveness and the need to maintain open lines of communication in marriage. She believes that these factors are important in overcoming difficulties and rebuilding trust, helping them overcome betrayal. The two shared their journey and how they managed to maintain a strong relationship despite adversity. In the interview, both emphasized the importance of addressing issues directly and honestly, as well as relying on faith to get through difficult times. Their commitment to each other and to their family is the foundation of their relationship, and they have consistently worked to build their marriage through mutual respect and understanding. This serves as a powerful reminder that no marriage is perfect and every relationship will have its difficulties. However, how couples handle those challenges will ultimately determine the strength of their relationship. And so maybe she felt some sort of devotion to him for because of that. I don't know. And he did take her two sons that she had out of had out of wedlock. Again, not a shaming statement. I'm just saying that because that's the phrase we used to use. And he raised them. I won't be shocked by anything that comes out, but I do know a lot of people are. And I just I just hope that they don't put it in the lap of God. You know, God doesn't have anything to do with these folks' messes and schemes and, and sleeping around and whoremongering. He has nothing to do with it. You have to understand it wasn't God allowing, it was us allowing. These rumors have been out for years. How come the church never held him accountable? Maybe he would have sat down years ago. Everyone thought everything would be fine. But recently, under the pressure of sexual abuse allegations, especially rumors about T.D. Jake's gay love affair with Diddy, D. Jake's let out harsh words, cursed his wife, his anger hurt her deeply as he lost control of his words, calling Sarita ungrateful and accusing her of spreading false rumors about him. Sarita Jakes truly demonstrated the power of love and faith in overcoming the challenges of her marriage to Bishop T. Jakes. Even though she faced her husband's resentment, she still chose to forgive him and move forward, promoting the importance of marriage, family, and children. Both continue to struggle with the broken trust between them. Tensions in the relationship reach breaking point. Despite their faith and dedication to prayer, they still find it difficult to overcome their challenges. The wound is too deep to heal completely. The cracks in the marriage became more and more obvious as rumors spread, distorting the truth. Sarita decided to proceed with divorce proceedings. She makes this painful decision considered necessary to find herself and pursue happiness. Once the divorce began, Sarita believed she was entitled to an equal division of assets. She asserted that her contributions deserved recognition. Their joint efforts were important in building their empire. Sarita's dedication, guidance, and unwavering support are an integral part of their shared vision.